Why bother? Who cares? Who cares about art or painting or music? We live in a world of, of suffering and um, natural disaster and human disaster. And so why should this strange creature, this strange feeling, this strange expression have meaning? I remember our class, English class, with Mr. Farquhar um, reading David Copperfield and the sort of intense uh, life that that novel took on because we were all reading it at the same time. To me, that made um, me understand how, in a certain sense, art works. In that class, Dickens was there, and we had a chance to talk to him and to know him. And that, to me, is the amazing thing that that great expression allows us to do. Expression can soothe, it can entertain, it can console, but it also can provide a kind of vocabulary for us to understand the infinite complexities of, of life, of our life, of our life in the moment. We can talk to Rembrandt. We can discuss life with Shakespeare. They are living presences in the experience. Everyone is an artist. They are the artistic event when they look at a Rembrandt or go to a play by Shakespeare. Yes, Rembrandt is there, and in the case of Shakespeare, Shakespeare is there, and then we're there too, designing the scenery, doing the acting, presenting it to them. But the artistic event takes place in the mind and heart of the person who is looking at it. And, and they are now artists. And that to me is a privilege and a kind of joy that is so extraordinary. So much of that came from, from Kingswood. I remember thinking back on my days there and thinking of the teachers that I had, how I remember them vividly, and I remember their, I'm not sure I remember exactly what they taught me, but I remember them as passionate, totally committed grown-ups. Was any good actor needs as a good director? And maybe that's what these, these teachers at Kingswood were were directors who could see in each individual person exactly, because this is so much what Pat also writes about, um, could see in each individual person how to guide them, how to develop them, how to let them develop rather than imposing a, uh, necessarily a worldview or anything on them, but just to let them, let them become great actors so they can act out their life. I never knew Pat. I never got to know her or, or, or meet her. So, but I have read much that she has written, and this is a feeling that I get that she had also, this sense that, that expression was important and even crucial. Her combination of thinking about teaching, about performance, about the individual was important. And her sense of to teach was not, was not to teach, per se, but to guide, and more importantly, to release in people. I'm very honored and interested to be given this award. To me, almost, it's more interesting to um, get to know somebody like Pat, who was so important to everyone, clearly, um, and who I 
didn't know in person, but to find a sympathetic uh, spirit who was also very uh, good at expressing her, her, her feelings about the power, the potential power, the potential personal power of, of the artistic soul. The wonderful American poet Stanley Kunitz described a poem, but it, his phrase seems so um, apt in terms of just what, again, I come back to the phrase art, but what expression does, rapture breaking in the mind. And he said that, and this could almost be a quote from Pat, he says, art is life-sustaining, life-enhancing, and best of all, absolutely unpredictable.